what I'm going to be speaking on um, is energy finance. So if you may be wondering, you know, what is energy up here in finance? Um, I guess you would know by now that Energen is offering finance um, for our own product. And basically, one of the things that we're going to begin to, to drill down on is just showing us how Energen uh, sees the industry and why finance become such a central uh, factor. All right? Our innovation drive, what drives us is basically uh, affordable energy. We, we, we're driven by seeking to bring that to the table and and primarily at the level of the, the average man, so to speak, the average household out there. RER business opportunity, we look at that. Uh, five megawatts, so when we talk about you know, renewable energy and then we look at the market size and what is really out there at this point in time based on the agreement, we're just talking about $35 million or more. So we're not talking about no big industry. You know, take the in off and it's just dust, you know what I mean? Um, at any day, so it's not a big, sector, just $35 million based on the proposed um, RER arrangement that is on the table. Um, if we move to the 60 megawatts, we're talking about maybe $112 million. Um, so again, we're not dealing with a big, big lot of hullabaloo, all right? Uh, 1,500 to 2,000 households, maybe at between two to three kilowatt systems. That's what we're talking about at this point in time. So. To really see industry, we really need to see this thing open up. Now, we, we, we approach it, first of all, through uh, system design. So we look at modular, and, and this is the attempt to make the technology affordable. Um, so in the first three years when we started out, we look at modularity. So we start using microinverters, uh, fixed energy modules, like 500 watt modules that you can just um, plug and play type solutions, low cost, easy to stock to keep our, our overheads down. Um, then we looked at scalability in terms of the fact that a customer can start at a 0 0.5 and based on their pocket, they can add on and add on and add on over time. This is before VAT came off and before all the other um, incentives were rolled out. We had customers buying in based on this particular uh, finance model using design um, to, to, to get there. Also using grid parity as a, as a value, um, only in investing in technologies that can match the electricity bill or is less than the electricity bill. So uh, that was also one of our values in terms of um, the affordability drive. And then also to energy management, demand and generation side. So we were going to a home, do a comprehensive audit. If that customer's fridge, let's say for example, there's a real case, we had a customer whose bill was $450. When we did the audit, the bill was $300. $300, the, the fridge, sorry, was $300 on that bill, all right? So that customer went, switched out that fridge, bought a new one, and their bill without even uh, PV came down to $50 a month, yeah? So we, we add that as a, as a significant uh, value-added component. So our free energy audit goes before our PV, um, PV product offering, yeah. Uh, our view of the utility, uh, again, uh, we view the utility as a finance company um, who have asset and they're looking for return on the assets. Um, and therefore, if you know, a customer had to come and buy a block of a whole year supply of electricity, so, so the utility is really financing that utility. So that's how we view them. So we don't view them as an engineering company per se, but secondly is that. Um, and then, so therefore, we, we, we knew that we had to become a finance company to really be in the game. Yeah, so we work towards that. And then um, financing then drive the entire model from procurement through to warranty through to customer service. So the whole thing is based on financing. Yeah. All right. So the, some of the things that we did was that we negotiated um, to re, for the removal of VAT. Um, uh, myself, I, I met with the governor, met with uh, Central Bank, no, Chris, Minister of Finance, and yeah, Chris Sinclair, and, um, and some of the other folks from the uh, Ministry of Finance, and we negotiated why the VAT had to be removed because we felt that renewables was giving you the value of reducing foreign exchange. You know, you can't get your cherry, you can't get your cup and, and eat it too. You know, we help you on one hand, help us on the other hand. So they agreed, and we've been able to help see that VAT come through. We also negotiated with a number of finance houses to participate in the energy business. Um, we did that, we sat down with Signia, we also sat down with Scotiabank. 
and they say, well, we'll participate, and they got involved, and, and we then began to see movement in the sector because finance was being brought to the table. Um, government's goals right now of the 29 to 30 percent, we're talking about maybe 300 megawatts, megawatt hours, really, I mean, sorry, 300 megawatts or so, uh, megawatt hours, yeah, in terms of generation per year. So that should have got an age on it. Um, so in a nutshell, we're looking at maybe 35,000 households with one kilowatt systems um, to get there, basically. All right. So the maximum size of this market we forecast maybe about $2 billion. So which means you can't sit down nesting in Barbados, if everybody understands where you're coming from. So you've got to start immediately looking out, because with the amount of players in the sector, that $2 billion could dry up pretty quick. The next thing we did was that we sat down and developed finance solutions um, for um, customers. So we had the quartz model um, between 500 watts to one kilowatt system. And they had their own percentages um, on that. Signia Finance Group, uh, which is one of the first finance houses to actually step out and finance uh, renewables. Um, so I want to commend them for that here with Paul Ashby and, and the team there. Um, between one to five, and then um, Scotia Bank, which was also our banker, so we felt that we would stick with our banker, and um, and, uh, and and they also finance 1.5s as well. All right. So what I would say is that I didn't have the slide here, but I would say that uh, on the domestic side, a PV investment gives a return of like 15 percent, and that 15 percent is compound. There's no investment in Barbados to give you a 15 percent return. Um, maybe government. Paper, maybe three, four percent, you know, but nothing gets gets that close. So um, when you invest in PV, it's good business. Yeah, uh, maybe Fortress can come close to that, but other than that, PV is, is still, as far as investment is concerned, um, a sound investment in this kind of environment. All right. So what energy and finance is all about is that uh, solar system of your choice in a bundle. Yeah, and the storage option of your choice in a bundle. Smart appliances of your choice in a bundle. I sorry I didn't have that slide here, but smart appliances mean we actually slash on the demand side um, your energy consumption by 60%, which reduces down your investment in PV by 50%. So as opposed to you buying a PV system of five kilowatt, um, based on your existing appliances, um, what we're seeing is Get the smart bundle with all these smart appliances, reduce your demand side by X amount, and then buy a 1.5. Home insurance in the bundle. So therefore, for those householders who, were, who didn't, couldn't afford finance, we finance your insurance as well. All right? So for, for ridiculously low monthly payments of X, X, reducing balance, easy monthly payments. And then the last slide is, what's next for Energen? Financing electric vehicles, one easy monthly payment, and that's, that's basically where we're taking the market. So we're not playing games in the market. We're here to get this technology into the hands of the average Barbadian, and that is what energy and finance is about. Thank you.